I am seriously so excited to reconnect with you because last time we hung out, we were on the stage at the House of Blues celebrating the premiere of your Las Vegas residency. So how have you been since then, girl? I loved every second of it. I've had the best time and I can't wait to get back on stage in December. As if a Las Vegas residency isn't enough, now we're promoting this new season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And this is an interesting time for you, Erica, because I would like to think the worst is over for you after the chaotic past couple of years you've had. So what is your energy like as you're heading into this new season? I came to this new season really wanting a fresh start, really wanting to move past the last three years of you know, everything that's been going on legally and personally. And that's really what I was there to do and make it a lighter, much more enjoyable experience for me. Mm -hmm. And even though I would love that for you, as you know, when you're on this show, these women, Erica, I mean, they have a lot to say. And let's just talk about the fact that you don't have your bestie anymore. Lisa and Rena, of course, is not on the show. Was it a little daunting for you to enter this season without having your bestie right by your side? Well, I miss Lisa, but um, if you'll remember, I came into the show with one friend, Yolanda Hadid, and so, um, you know, you learn to make friendships, and that's and that's what happens, and you reconnect with other friendships. So that's really what that's the name of the game, and that's the way the show goes on, really. Mm -hmm. And speaking of how the show goes on, I personally hate asking this type of question because I think it's nobody's business. But as we see when you walk in. These women are just coming for your way right away, commenting on it. And of course, a lot of fans out there are trying to say that she has to be on Ozempic. She's not being honest about this. What is your overall feedback? What do you have to say to the haters out there who don't believe your reasoning as to how you've lost the weight? Everyone has to do with what is right for them. Um, my weight loss, I got in trouble for talking about a chicken tender the year before. So I'm not really comfortable talking about what I do with my own body. We have a cast member that has an eating disorder. Um, you know, whatever I do for me is right for me. Whatever someone else chooses is right for them. But mm -hmm. I look good. <laughs> you literally just took the words right out of my mouth. I was gonna say, Erica, you're looking great and you're feeling great and that's what's important. Yeah, you know, and for, and for a long time I wasn't looking or feeling great, you know, and I look and feel good. And so it's my right to do so. Yes, and I love that you're sending that message because we need it right now. Well, even though this core cast is strong and we know that we're going to bring the drama, there's a lot of, you know, pop-ups that we see from past cast members this season. And of course, one of them is Denise Richards and you two go head to head a little bit. Were you thrilled to see Denise Richards walk into Kyle's house that day? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I didn't know that Denise was going to pick a fight with me at that dinner. So actually, when I saw her walk in, I thought, oh, cool. And then she proceeded to take her time and then start a fight with me, of which I had no idea what she was talking about because she's talking about four-year-old beef. And I also thought it was very misdirected because who she should really take these things up with is Brandy, Lisa, and Teddy. I just happened to be the only one there. So I was you know, kind of confused and didn't remember what she was saying. And then she didn't articulate herself very well at all. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole thing. I, I certainly wasn't expecting that. And then when it happened, I was like, what is this? You know, so. Yeah, it's the name of the game. It wouldn't, wouldn't be a, yeah, just, you know, come on. 